Welcome to Survivor NSFW, the Unauthorized Survivor Podcast. We have a very special Q&A right now that we are going to be bringing to you with very, very special guest, the Godfather Carl from Survivor, David vs. Goliath. How you doing, dude? Good, man. Bing! <laughs> <laughs> So <laughs> we uh, uh, a peek behind the curtain. Um, we we did not bother Carl uh, two nights uh, this week to 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 uh, to make him in, endure this. We we just wrapped uh, the the Wednesday podcast and uh, and and Matt and I uh, we're we're recording the Q and A. We're just like, hey, uh, Carl, you want it? You want to hang out? And he's like, fuck yeah, I ain't got shit to do. <laughs> 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 and so uh, I like this. Is, this is really cool. I'm I'm very excited because you know uh, you there's uh, there's only so much when we're talking about an isolated season. These questions are going to open things up. And uh, as we learned uh, during the, the weekly podcast, uh, uh, Carl, even though he was a recruit, is a longtime uh, fan, and uh, th- this should be a lot of fun. So uh, let's start with. Uh, uh, well, we'll get to that question later. All right, we, we, we I'll start with this. Um, on on the Castaway Watch Along that dropped this week, we had we had Burton um, talking about uh, uh, his butt turned into a, a 12 hour soft serve ice cream uh, machine um, when, when he when he won that the dairy based breakfast reward. And so uh, so Angela, uh, who 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 uh, we we got you in our in our prayers over here, Angela. Uh, she she said, when you guys get the massive shits out there, do they give you anything like diaper rash cream? So uh, you you would think uh, with all the problems, uh, uh, you know. <laughs> so well, so do they get so I'll, I'll for my season Survivor Caramoa? No, there is no diaper rash cream given. Now let's say. I mean, if you had a very, very horrible, like, boil or something, if you had an anus boil, (laughs) (laughs) if you had something really horrifying, you could probably go to the survivor doctor and say, look, I got this bad issue. Maybe they would give you something. I don't know. But they, they, that might be your expulsion from the game. I yeah, mean, because if, if anything that can get infected out there, it can go uh, bad quick. It can go bad real quick. So, so yeah, I I, they, I never got anything for for my. I didn't have an anus boil. Yeah. <laughs> but, but I but, mean, I, I I know like like Rupert like on, on Pearl Islands, we started by jumping off the boat in the clothes that we were wearing for the photo shoot, and Rupert was wearing jeans. And he got crotch rot pretty bad, and mm-hmm. they they gave him nothing. Mm-hmm. See, now during my season, one of the guys had the same thing, and they did end up giving him some cream because it was it was horrible. But now I can what, say what that, guy? Uh, Davy. Davey had a had a rash that was. Fucking he was fat when he hard. started. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah he was. <laughs> like how crazy! You, you see the pictures of him. Himself. You yeah. see the pictures of him then, and then you see, and just like, man, you fucking like, you know, you, you talk about this this, you know, uh, with the edit, the the blossoming blossoming of you know Christian into a butterfly. Fucking Davey, fucking blossom. He's a fucking pimp now. He is. Yeah, Davey lost the, the most amount of weight out of everybody on my cast. But um, yeah, he will, and he he goes to the gym now. He will not allow himself to pick that weight back up. But uh, he looks good, man. That's that's my little bro. He looks but great. He looks speaking, really. Speaking speaking since we're on the 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 ass term side of it, like for me, <laughs> <laughs> the first twenty days, guys, I never had a fucking bowel movement. You know yeah. what I mean? So I'm getting worried at this point, like. If I'm at home, I shit at least once or twice a day. Yeah. You know? yeah. Like <laughs> something ain't right. So I got with, with Dr. Joe and 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 he did give me some medication because of course we know that can be harmful. You know yeah. what I mean? That's well, which got, like, that's uh, not good, uh, you know. Bruce had to leave because he didn't he he didn't shit. Wow. Bruce, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I uh I shit I my first season in Pro Islands, I was there for thirty eight days. I shit three times in 38 days. The first one I think was day 12, and it was the size of like like a small Nerf football. <laughs> and and like I mean you could tell like like on pro I, like we were just you know we were at the beginning we were we were malnourished you know and and 
and uh, you could tell whenever anyone shit for the first, like they, they, you just see them walk up the like just just a couple couple straight tears drawn. <laughs> just like oh, just just like oh yeah, yeah, yep, that well, was. Fuck, Johnny, you played in the prehistoric days. Those medications wasn't even invented. They didn't have, yeah, they didn't have. <laughs> you know what I, mean? I remember, I remember coming home and Fist bump. Uh, ma- ma- Madam, <laughs> Madam, Madam, Madam Curie had just, uh, I believe it was called penicillin. She had. Just... <laughs> So you might know her as Marie. We called her Madame Curie. I mean, because you know she was she was an educated. They they didn't educate very very many women back then. Right. It was <laughs> a big deal. <laughs> you guys are assholes. <laughs> oh shit! That's all right. Weird. This one this one this one's gonna be a fun. All right. So this is another one uh, from Angela. Uh, other than your own season, what's your favorite season? 1 through 10, 11 through 20, 21 through 30, 31 through 37. All right, let's 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 uh let's 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 tighten this up a little bit. Like uh rumor and innuendo according to Inside Survivor, they're saying season 40 could potentially be old school versus new school with the cutoff being heroes villains. So, if you had to pick a season 1 through 20, which is heroes villains, and then 21 through 37, what would be your favorite from each not counting your own season? Oh God! So one through twenty, for me, shit, man. Angela's gonna be like, "You're a dick." The question is one through ten. To one, <laughs> one through what? twenty for me would have to be heroes, villains. Heroes, one villains. Through twenty. Yeah, that's, um, that's kind of a dickhead thing to say when you got a guy from Pro Islands, right? I'm sorry. <laughs> and then you asked me what was my fucking favorite. You know what I mean? It might, it might be mine. It might be. Oh. Um, <laughs> then where we go? 20 through 30, you say? 21 through 21, 21 through 37. 30, 37. Or, to, or through 38. You can just, you know, guess that Edge of Extinction might be better than yours. I would I would have <laughs> to say, since I can't pick my own, yes. I would have to say Kagayan. I think I think that's probably a very popular. Yeah. Yeah. Kagayan was a good one. I mean, dude, I'd have to literally write down and and refresh my memories on this stuff but if i would say season 21 to to david versus goliath was was up there it's fresh on my mind i would say that's probably my favorite damn season and and this people listening to this and watching this don't think we ain't sucking your dick carl there's no dick sucking (laughs) there's no dick and and it's not a matter of oh if angelina was on you know my answer but we're we're cool but you know you ain't got gray pants so So, i mean season season one to 20 man there's so many there's so many good seasons, um, but I would say, God, it's a tough one. I would almost say season one because it was what made me fall in love. Oh yeah, that was yeah, with, that was, that was with, the raw with with Survivor. You know what I'm saying? But that, right. it's kind of like right. that's kind of like a given. Um, I mean, Heroes Villains was was a great season, and there's been so many seasons, man, and so many great players. It's it's uh, we'll have to dive. It. I mean, we could do a whole podcast breaking down this, Johnny. Now, what's your answer, Johnny? Um, I'm 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 torn. Uh, any, anything with Boston Rob or Survivor One World is uh, <laughs> it's right there. It's what you, it's what you, it's what you, uh, yeah. I mean, you know, if you know me, it's that's <laughs> um, I uh, for for one through twenty. I have a tie uh, between, and, and I like them for two totally. They're they're almost two different shows. Uh, Heroes, villains, and Africa. Yeah, Africa was dope. Yeah, when, looking so, back now, like uh, we, you know, showing my kids because you know they, they became Survivor fans. They were little when my season aired, and then we you know we're watching them. We've never gone back and watched the earlier seasons, but I started watching Survivor Africa, and it's like, dude, it's like. Someone it, who respects the game slow. of Survivor, it, it is slow. And I mean, if you go back, Carl, and watch this shit, Jeff Probst is not given the commentary during the challenges. It's just yeah, like he doesn't you, talk. You just I see these challenges. Stop. I'm just saying, it, it kind of gets in your way. You know what I mean? Like, Alec was 
pissed. Like he literally wanted to tell Jeff to just just stop talking. Like it's interrupting. You know what I mean? But yeah. that's something totally different. That Welcome to work. Survivor NSFW, where Johnny Fairplay has dial-up internet. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That goes back to how long he fucking played Survivor. I know. Right? Yeah, did you? <laughs> Dude. I, I, Car, Car, yeah. Carl's like one of my <laughs> new favorite like dudes. Who <laughs> needs a hidden immunity? I don't know. Yeah. No. All I know is I can't wait to drink freaking uh, some damn Mexican beers with Carl. Oh, I with love Carl. Mexican beer. Hell love yeah. It. Hell yeah. I, I, Hotel I, I, uh... Cate, so it doesn't yeah. matter. Hell yeah. I'm, I'm going to. I'm gonna hit ten years sobriety and then and then hit uh, uh head down to uh to Houston and, and 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 blow it all on a weekend with Carl. Come on, Johnny, I got extra bedrooms, man. Whenever y'all down, I'm more than welcome to stay. I'm more fun without it. I promise. But don't drink. You can still <laughs> don't drink without you. drinking. Don't, don't ruin your ten years sobriety. Yeah, no. Fuck I'm, no. I'm in two. You have some time. Free. You have some time. I, I'm good. I'm, as I, I'm, I'm much more fun now. I promise. Yeah. So, uh, so going to my seasons, uh, for one, one, one through tw- one through twenty, um, I mean, I honestly feel that Pearl Islands is is the best, but uh, I have a tie between Africa and uh, Heroes Villains. I, I I thought uh Heroes Villains was amazing. I personally feel that uh, uh, Poverty played the best individual game of anyone in the history of Survivor. That's my personal opinion. I, I'm not friends with poverty it's not a secret <laughs> but I, I would give kudos where, where it's deserved i think that that she, she's an amazing player um for uh for 21 through 37 uh once again i have a tie uh between uh and and and, and after a rewatch that might change but uh kage on and uh um david versus goliath so, oh yeah uh, i mean so that so in case you're like you know, I we've been saying, you know, for for two weeks now, and and possibly, you know, maybe a, a couple more, you know, David versus Goliath, top five season, and and I think, you know, with, with without you here, that that answer doesn't doesn't change, Carl. And and Johnny, you were saying something earlier. You and I were talking when when I was driving today about kissing. Yeah, about kissing. No, about <laughs> about. Uh, was it Vi- was it Vice magazine? Vice, about? yeah. Are are you familiar with Vice magazine, Carl? Uh, it's Vice it's a magazine, hip they, kind of magazine. It, it, it's 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 a magazine. Um, it's it's, it's based on the uh, the the Vice store they used to have one in Los Angeles, and then they have a channel. Uh, they do a lot of stuff with Action Bronson. Like it's just it's fucking just cool as shit and fucking dirty. And and they did a they did an article and they said the best show on television this year. Was Survivor David versus Goliath, and this is from the fucking cool kids. I wish fucking CBS would give us some more money for that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Meaning they did good. Yeah, yeah. dude. You know, like fuck, compensate the people who had, who made the show. Well, mm-hmm. the, the fact that they don't means this, that it will continue for another forty years. So yeah, that, that's true. the that's the good thing. Yeah, true that. <laughs> One other season I thought, but it was like a close second, and it's just me. Was uh, Blood versus Water, very first season. I like that one a whole lot. The, was that the one Tyson won? Yeah. Yep. I tapped yep. out on that. <laughs> Johnny Fairplay has not seen Blood, the first Blood versus Water. You have not seen. My Caramoan. season, Survivor Caramoan. And what is there another one you haven't seen, or is that the only two? I haven't seen the final episode of Amazon, and I've not seen the final episode of Vanuatu, and I have not seen the second half. There he goes. Well, you know what's <laughs> he? Yeah, so. Johnny's gonna Johnny, you back okay, oh, you're back, back you're back with us. So yeah. you, you haven't seen these. Don't you have like the CBS all access fucking watch anything you want? Yeah. Well no, I mean, but but we're doing these fucking watch along things, so I'm saving it so you'll get my real reaction. Okay, okay. So yeah. you will you know, like, if I watch it without that. it, I'll be like, Oh awesome. And then when we watch it, I'll be like, uh, yeah, I watched it last week. Right <laughs> well hell yeah. Well hell yeah. Is, do do you have a question which is the worst survivor season? Well, as Survivor One World, or yeah. any any time, uh, sex Doctor Mike did a confessional. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tie. 
<laughs> oh, shit. The funny thing is, yeah, Survivor One World was bad, but yeah, it was hard. I, 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 there's a, there's a few people I liked on. You know, I, I liked that uh, Troyzan came back again. I, I like yeah. him. Troyzan's great. I I I mean, in real life. That that's a likable dude, man. You're 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 gonna like him down in uh, Hearts of Reality. Uh, okay. Carl, he's 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 real good people. So, all right, moving on. Uh, John Lee writes, if you could pick w- only one player to return, imagine no one has ever returned before. Who would you want that to be the only player to play two times ever in the history of Survivor? So what? consider, so, so it's, so it's every season is, is, is all newbies. Every season. So, so subtract fans versus favorites, subtract, well, subtract, subtract the any, favorites. Subtract anyone that's ever played. Yeah. What twice. one yeah. player in Survivor history would you have wanted to come back a second time, basically? Whew. Ozzy, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I thought I was seeing this cast. <laughs> Hasn't Ozzy played twice or just yeah. once? Well, no, I no. Just just pretend that a player is n- that no players ever come back. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, so if you're watching, if you're watching everyone's first season ever, and you could pick one player to come back. See, a lot of people can't stand him. He lives maybe forty miles from me. Russell I'd Hans. have to say Russell Hands. Yeah. Man, Russell played great, man. Russell is just an asshole. Yeah, he's just an asshole. You know asshole. what I'm saying? But Russell played a great game. Have you met I, him? I, yeah, I met him. Yeah. What do you think I of him? I have his number in my phone. He was a cool guy. You know what I'm saying? I don't have a problem. Like, like, he I, doesn't I, live, live far from me. Now, I, I've never reached out to him since meeting him. I met him before our season ever dropped, yeah. you know? We had a we had a party when we came back in New Orleans and Russell was there. You know sure. what I'm saying? But yeah, he was a cool guy, man. Dude, I, I mean, just, I yeah. loved Russell Hans on hit the very first season. Yeah. Russell Hans yeah. played. Russell Hans should have won the game hands down. Yeah. He yeah. did. He did not do good jury management, and at the end, he blew it. However, there was no one like Russell Hans's. He was a different villain. Than the Johnny Fair, the Johnny Fairplay villain, right? So yeah. I'm, I'm he, with he, you. He took, I took what Rob C. I felt like I took Rob C.'s blueprint and 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 turned it up to eleven. I feel Russell Hans turned it up to twenty. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I think he forgot the strategic elements that made me and Rob C.'s game play. You know that 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 went along with the villainy. I, I think he forgot those steps, but I think he took the villainy to to a whole new level. Yeah, I think Russell took a lot of. It personal too while he was out there you know what i mean like, like Wait, i think he's got a little man complex playing, but I th- right i mean that could be the case <laughs> that factors in too. like it seemed like it came off a lot more personal yeah you know it's i mean you know okay. so your picks russell uh, matt who, who's your pick Other, i mean i know you love john cochran but uh <laughs> <laughs> man that's a hard one dude um i have uh, thinking about my love of the game over the years thinking about i kind of want to think about the game before i played because once you play you look at survivor in a completely different light you know what i'm saying um you do the i bet that motherfucker's cool despite what they just showed me for six weeks (laughs) yeah so so um i would say um johnny don't get pissed at this i would probably say from a fanboy perspective back then i would have liked to see rupert play again sure and, I get it. and from a from a woman's standpoint, I like to see, I would have liked to have seen Abby Maria play again, so I can look at that Brazilian booty and see <laughs> I'm right there and, that. and see her feisty ass. Uh, yeah, she was feisty. And, and I, I didn't want to say the same. I mean, Carl's uh, opinion of Russell Hans. Russell is still, if there is a legends or a, a, a season. Yes, maybe they won't ask him back because he's hated by CBS or whatever. But uh, yeah, dude, Ru- Russell's first—he's still been out of shape about it, man. I mean, his his first season out was was fucking—I mean, it was amazing and it was memorable Survivor history. So that that's a good call, Carl. What about you, Fair Play? Uh, I would go. I would go uh, Richard Hatch. I would. I would like to like if 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 they. 
if every season is all newbies and 40 is the first time they're bringing people back, I would want to see how the guy that invented the Alliance does in 2019. Yep. That's the beauty of talking about like right now on these Q and A's is because our, th- we, we all love the game and th- there is so many people in the thought process this is behind Carl's pick and Johnny's and I don't know. It's quite fascinating. And I think that's why they, they cast people like Carl, we all have something special to get anyone that plays survivor. Like when we're doing these podcasts, Johnny, and, and you meet the, you know, former players, you can tell there's, there's something about all of us that, you know, whether you made it far in the game or you don't, we all have that certain special thing, in my opinion, that makes us why they chose us to play survivor. And Sex Dr. Mike. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love Sex Dr. Mike sometimes. <laughs> All right. Uh, this is from uh, Chris Dixon. All right. A few questions. This, this motherfucker's crazy. So I don't I don't even know if we're allowed to, to, to read. Uh, you know what? They seem pretty, pretty Chris, docile. He's the guy from <laughs> Australia that was messaging me after our last Q&A. We were talking. He's a mess. He's a mess. What's All right. Uh, number one, just finished Pearl Islands. Oh, uh, good taste. And I love the dead grandma lie. Even better taste. I uh, was wondering, is she still alive in 2019? Yes, motherfucker. Her, her license plate says dead G-ma. Uh, she actually <laughs> messaged, she left something for my mom today, uh, a, some kind of gift for me. And uh, I don't think it's inheritance. So if that's the case, she's still alive. And uh, if so, how old is she now? Is she doing all right? She's doing fine. She's, she, she probably, you know what she probably left me? Probably some fat back. I love fat back. I'm a, I'm a fat back connoisseur. Wait, 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 what's fat back? Fat back. It's meat. Like the, yeah, it's fat. A, it's the, yeah, it has a lot of fat with the, mixed in with the meat. It, it's like it's like uh, it's like bacon, except it's it's like if bacon and like pork rinds had a mm. uh, had had a, had a kid. Mm. Had a cousin. Yeah. That sounds yeah. good. Yeah. That sounds yeah. good. Oh, it's so good. It, and it's just it's like like the grease of of the fat almost melts in your mouth. But then the rind, like the, it is, it like it, it can it can break a fucking tooth out of your mouth. See back wow. here, you eat it fried, Johnny. Yeah. Cause see, we call it cracklings. We call yeah. it hog cracklings. Yeah. It's the same fucking thing. Oh yeah, yeah. I love it. Oh that, yeah. that, that that's that, that's my jam. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so she probably left either uh, 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 some fat back or maybe some collard greens, which it's not called collard greens because that's oh. racist. Yeah. Very much. <laughs> it's it's <called> color. <laughs> <laughs> all, right. all right. So all those questions for number two. This one's for everybody. Uh, what's your favorite fast food and soda? Uh, I'll go first. My favorite fast food is probably I I, uh, I I I miss some In and Out Burger when when I'm on the uh, the West Coast. That's some good shit. Double double animal style. And uh, my favorite soda, that's that's some southern shit right here. Uh, Cheerwine is my number one go-to. So I don't know if you're – Cheerwine is like Dr. Pepper's sleazy uncle. It's, okay, yeah. see, yeah. I'm a Dr. Pepper fan, but then there's places I go and his sleazy aunt – is Mr. Pib or yeah, yeah. No, 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 it's no, called no, Mr. No. Pib. No. Yeah. And it's like, no, cheer, no, no, no. Try, cheer, Dr. cheer wine. I, I will, uh, I will bring you cheer wine. If you, well, I'll send, I'm going to send some cheer wine with, I'm going to bring cheer wine with me February 20th to Cincinnati for the premiere of edge of extinction. And if you make it there, then if not, and uh, if 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 you don't, and you come in June while I'm filming season forty, it'll be there waiting for you at Matt Bischoff's house. February twentieth. <laughs> February twentieth is the is the premiere of Edge of Extinction. We we have a big party. We got uh, who do we have coming? We got uh, Big uh, Tom, Tanya Vance, uh, probably Angela Perkins from Ghost Island, uh, myself, Roger Bingham from the Australian Outback. Uh, yeah. Sash from. We're doing a Nicaragua. cornhole tournament. We're giving away a set of uh, Survivor NSFW cornhole boards. We have cornhole professionals doing an exhibition. They're going to be the judges and then playing the winners of the fans and the survivors. It's crazy. I know I won't make that. I'll be out of the <laughs> no, like, tell no, me more. I'll be out of the country. I'll be out of the country. All right. So is Nick. Nick's going. You guys. Oh, you guys are filming yeah. another season it's together. together. I see how it is. Oh, okay. Together thing. Oh, yeah, the the, the uh, blood versus water three, the Texas Rattlers. <laughs> Let's see how it is. <laughs> so, favorite fast food for me would be Chick Fil A. 
after. I love Chick Fil A on Sundays. Oh. Any restaurant <laughs> that isn't open on Sundays, I'm sorry. <laughs> no one, you know what I mean? Like, I want to go run down the street and grab me something. It's Sunday. The football games are coming on. Oh, I, I can't agree go with it. Chick Fil A, <laughs> you know. But no, I respect it. I respect. Right. It. We we just, I, the know. the place I'm staying at. The uh, the guy uh, he he had a uh, he had five kids uh, living with him at one time, and and his ongoing joke, and they 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 never caught on. Every Sunday, he'd be like, uh, "You guys want to go Chick Fil A?" They're like, "Oh yeah." And it's just like you know what. You don't have to order off the kids' menu today. Anything you want. They're like, for reals? And he's like, yeah, it's Sunday. They closed. <laughs> <laughs> and they never caught it. <laughs> he's just like, they never caught on. Every Sunday. Y'all don't have to order off the kids' menu. For reals? Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. I, I, Mountain Dew would be uh, my favorite soft drink. Chick-fil-A uh, and Mountain Dew. That, w- that would be a right with you being the BMX guy and all of that, you know. The yeah, yeah. right on. It's extreme. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Carl, fa- favorite fast food and soda? My favorite soda is Dr. Pepper. Right. Um, fast food, I really, I, honestly, I don't have a favorite. It's just when I'm home. Oh, do, do you like the knee-high grape, Carl? The knee-high grape. The grape soda? When I was a kid, but okay. if you was gonna give me grape, then let's just go all out and fix fucking grape Kool Aid. I mean, yeah. I'm, a, I'm a great. I, I, which when but, Wendell when Wendell came to visit me, I was just like, you know, I don't have any beer because you know I don't. I, but I was like, I was like, you know, I got you know sparkling water and then like I, I was kind of in bed. I'm like, I got I got a uh, I got well, grape don't you soda. do the ginger beer? Is yeah, I got that, ginger beer right that here. What it, that's what I thought you were drinking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I got ginger yeah. beer, but but yeah, like no, I, I, not... Wendell's like you got grape soda, <laughs> and, and his buddy Joe, so they're, they're just like, you know, we like some grape soda. <laughs> tell you something, man. They're much younger than me, man. That's you know what I'm saying. That's, that's young shit. Well, I'm I'm fucking that's... 45. <laughs> well, not I'm saying me and you together. I'm talking about Wendell and those guys. Oh yeah, there's some know? young it's, cats. Yeah, this they're going off of what their parents said okay. you know like come on <laughs> it's man. just like we like dr pepper we ain't give a shit yeah, about that. yeah i want dr pepper <laughs> shit you know but back in the days they said that that was medicine like if you if you needed to have bowel movements whatever drink you some dr pepper oh yeah literally <laughs> hell yeah well hey all right so what, what's your what's your fast food that's a tough one living here down south I would probably have to say Whataburger. I was I was just about to guess Whataburger. Yeah. yeah. I would have to say Whataburger. There you go. We don't have those uh, here. Do you have those yeah, here, Johnny? Yeah. No, no, but uh, I think uh, I can't remember if they had them. In, I know they had Fat Burger in L.A. because I because Ice Cube used to go yeah, there. So I used, I used to go they there. don't have Whataburger yeah. out in L.A. Okay, so I've been I've been to Fat Burger and I've been to Tommy's Burgers. I thought that shit sucked. I thought it was overrated as fuck. So, but uh, but Fat Burgers are good. All right, uh, number three, Chris Dixon. What are your personal 2019 goals? Is there anything out there that you want to do this year, motherfucker? Season 40. <laughs> I mean, that's it. Yeah. I got, I got May 15th circled on my calendar, and I got every fucking day circling my fucking phone, going ring, motherfucker, ring. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's your go. I mean, so for me goals for 2019 is one of them is to put out a new record with my newer band called soul group so that's that's one um that's one goal and my second goal is to just grow survivor nsfw to keep putting out weekly content and and just have a good time and uh just bring good content to our listeners like right now, we're kicking it with Carl on on a on a we're filming this on a on a Monday night, and uh, yeah, man, just uh, bringing happiness and, and positive energy to the world. There's too much negative bullshit, man. Don't you agree, too Carl? Much, too much negative bullshit. It's yeah. it's it's really a joke, man. Yeah. You know, if, if things would just go back to being the way they was, you know, we, it's just too many feel as though they have a platform to talk about negative bullshit you know what i'm saying being being the whole social media thing i mean it's a beautiful thing don't get me wrong but it, it gives too many a 
people a platform to just talk about negative bullshit that that shouldn't even fucking be out there. Right. But uh, I yeah, block. You, know. you say anything negative, I block. You you would yeah, think Johnny just... Fair, evil Johnny Fairplay would appreciate, you know, something like no. <laughs> it's like even if people are just like, man, I was just kidding. I'm just like, yeah, that sucks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that you, you, you should have kept it to yourself. Yeah, because right. if you let it out, then I yeah. feel like you really, you yeah. really meant it. You yeah. know, you yeah. gotta go. <laughs> so <laughs> you'll what, be missed. <laughs> so what? What do you got, man? Up, like, what, do you have any goals or resolutions for 2019, Carl? You know, honestly, for me, man, just to keep prospering. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm thankful that I was given the opportunity to play on Survivor. I'm like Johnny. I hope I get a call to play again, you know. Mm-hmm. But if not, man, I'm just going just gonna to keep my, myself grinding and, and doing what's best to provide for my family and, and stay played up, you know what I'm saying, and just continue living life. Hell yeah. Right, right on. Yeah. Hell yeah. All right. A couple more here. Uh, Wade Wyatt asked, uh, when you were watching uh, Survivor seasons before Pro Islands, did you watch uh, Brian Heideck and what did you think of his game? The Iceman. I mean, if you weren't in uh, if you weren't impressed with the Iceman, you're uh, you weren't the kind of player that I was a fan of. I, I loved Brian Heideck. I You know, I I, I thought he, uh, Brian Heideck is the guy we talked about recently, the, the car salesman ex soft porn star dude that soft won porn the game. star he won uh <laughs> thailand and uh, uh a true master of the game i think he was a little boring uh if, if you go back and, and analyze it now like he wasn't super flashy but he was like the, but that's why he got himself the ice man you know he's cool cool and calm and collected um I think what happened post Survivor with him shooting the puppies with with the with the arrows, I think uh, not, taints. That, I mean, that is complete. That actually, we that actually happened. Yeah, he's a so, piece of shit. So he was there. there first... So suppose, supposedly the story is his neighbors' dogs kept coming in his yard, and he's like. Get, keep them the fuck out of my yard. And they kept coming and he's like, keep them. He's like, I'm going to kill your fucking dogs. If you don't keep them the fuck out of my dog, out of my yard. (laughs) And then one night they came and he was just like, you know what? Fuck this. And he went out with the bow and arrow and fucking shot him. And killed the dogs. Yes. Did he go to jail for that? Uh, I don't know if he went to jail, but he his. I mean, in the court of public opinion, I mean, there there's very few lower. I mean, you know, like it's. Well, that, that's pretty screwed up, man. That, that yeah. that's. I mean, between that and and hearing that Mike Scoopin had, you know, kitty porn. It, yes, on his com, uh, computer, which is yeah, still not, like, yeah, that stuff's fucking yeah. hard to believe. You know what I mean? So, yeah. So, but I, but if in, in the grand scheme of things, we've had two super shit bags out of what? 8,000 survivors. So that's pretty good numbers. <laughs> 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 yeah, so, that's true. That's true. Yeah. So, but uh, yeah, what did you guys think of uh, Brian Hottie with, with, with subtracting the shooting puppies with, with <laughs> that, arrows? That, that, that's for me, dude. I'll just be honest. That season was so long ago. I'd have to go rewatch. I mean, I vi- I mean, I remember him. He I was remember Tanya of, Vance being hot as fuck. He was kind of a vi- <laughs> he was kind of a villainous conniving player, which I yeah. like. I like those type of players. Sure. I like the Godfather type players, the Johnny Fair players of the world, the Russell Hansons. I also like. You know, some heroes and stuff, too. Um, so, I don't know. I'd have to... What did I think about that, dude? I mean, I'd have to go back and watch it. It's been so fucking long, dude. And I've seen them all, but I, I don't sit there and re-watch these damn seasons, which we're going to, and I'm excited to re-watch seasons of Survivor. And, Carl, we do these watch-alongs where we, we're watching Johnny's season right now where we'll watch it, okay, and we'll commentate as we're watching the show, you know what I'm saying? And we're kind of just discussing it. So we're going to do my season next and uh, we'll have you on as a guest again, man, on one of these watch alongs. It's fun, man. We're just hanging out, watching survivor together. And it's cool to go back and rewatch those seasons. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just give me a holler. Yeah. Yeah. Right on. What's your next question? But Yeah. I'm like you on that question. I'd have to go back and watch that one to remember as, you know, be up to date with what, all his moves was right hell yeah 
All right. Uh, and here is last question. This is this is kind of a one-sided question based on a post I did this week. Uh, sorry, guys. That's okay. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. All right. Um, let's see. Uh, ch -ch -ch. Sorry, I'm scrolling. That's all right. Okay. Uh, so here's uh, here's a question for you. Uh, what was it like to date a reporter for Star Magazine? Did you feel the article was accurate? Tell us uh, what got left out of the article, and that's all I got. Hope that works. That is from Angela Miller, one of our favorite patrons. Uh, we love them all, of course. We, we do not choose favorites. So, but uh, but Angela gave uh, gave us Kentucky hats. So I mean, she probably is is one of our favorites. <laughs> so, all right, so. Uh, so Johnny's Johnny's dial up froze again. So I think we should just turn this Q and A into like Johnny Fairplay needs to get better internet. <laughs> here, I he, hate, here he's back again. I hate, back. I hate you both. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hear you talk shit when I freeze up. So, so anyway, so th this got a lot of love on my social media on, on Facebook, Instagram, and and and, and other places. So uh, in um, what was the date in two thousand? January 2004, uh, I did a charity event in Hollywood, and um, and there was a girl there. She introduced herself. She's like, "Hi, my name is Brenda Yu. I'm a, I'm the West Coast bureau chief of Star Magazine. Uh, I loved you on Survivor. I uh, can can we hang out? And so we hung out that night, and it was pretty crazy. All right, so the club we were at had like a VIP room. And in the VIP room, there was like these TVs along this wall. And then there was like a separate VIP thing with like these individual little booth things. And 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 the cameras on the wall were showing the booths. So me and and Brenda like hooked up pretty hardcore in one of these little booths. Mm -hmm. And then when we come out to the main area where you know everyone is looking at the cameras, Michael Buffer is there. And Michael Buffer goes, she was ready to rumble! <laughs> and, and I thought it was the great, like, I'm just like, I got fucking play-by-play -play from Michael Buffer of fucking, you know, it it, it, it was good. So, uh, so anyway, so we left there, we went to another place, and, and, and like the, the main picture of the two of us together, this paparazzi guy took that picture. Turns out the paparazzi guy was her boyfriend. Oh wow. <laughs> he took the picture and and we we ended up back at, at at my hotel after that and whatever. So the article it's uh we we kept dating a after that night. So even though she's, you know, dating this paparazzi guy, we 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 remained an item. And uh and and the article comes out and I'm just like, "Well, that's bullshit. That's bullshit." And she was like, "No one gives a fuck about nice Johnny Fairplay." <laughs> <laughs> like that that's not that doesn't sell magazines so like so she says you know it, it's, it's all about you know johnny fair played the liar so she's like you know johnny tells me that he gets 7500 in appearance which i was and she was like i talked to the promoter of, of the charity event and she said that they didn't pay him yeah no it was a fucking charity event right right, right. <laughs> like it wasn't an appearance <laughs> It, it was a charity event. It's just like, you know, and Johnny also says he only travels in limousine, and that night he, he took a cab. Okay, well, number one, like, it wasn't an appearance. Like, in in my rider, it says Johnny gets a limousine, you know? Uh, and as far as cabs, I had a guy. Uh, Shit ain't like that anymore, Carl. We ain't, get, <laughs> we, ain't, we ain't getting money to appear. We ain't getting 75. Some of these stories, dude, that I hear – of Johnny Fairplay and Lex and Big Tom from back. It's crazy. And Roger, early days, they were making huge money, dude. Huge. We, 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 Big Tom, Big Tom got a check in his hand from Best Buy from th for three hundred thousand dollars to be the fucking Best Buy guy. And instead of just saying, "Yeah, all right, let's do it," Big Tom goes, "Well, let me check with CBS." And they're like, "Well, Radio Shack was kind of like a sub sponsor, so you probably you just need to give them that check back." And he's like, "Fur play, I should I shouldn't have had." I'm like, "No shit." But Food City, like I, I don't know what your big grocery store chains are. Food City is is big in the South. Okay, they're they're big in Tennessee and and, and other places. Food City said, "We want you on our fucking bottled water." We want Big Tom water. 
Yeah. I mean, well, big this is like he got like that free cabin too at his place, didn't he? Oh yeah. Like I someone mean, built all... him a cabin. I mean, dude, what? Carl, he, Lex and Big Time, they, they told that story, Johnny, about going to fucking some uh, Indy oh, 500 no, they, they race. The circuit. They, 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 they would go to the NASCAR races. So uh, Big Time would go there. With, with, he'd just fill the back of his truck with, with Big Time t-shirts. And he's like, Lex, come on down. You want to be a part of this. And so he just he he he'd go, he'd go there and 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 he'd like and he'd go up to whoever is like working the parking. He's just like, get me up close where I need to be. I'll take care of you. And guy and you know some kid will be like, yeah, I'll put you right up here. He's like, who are? What's your deal? I don't you know I don't know who you are. Whatever. He's like, you stick with me, kid. I'll, I'll pay you. And so they'd set him up there. They they said it's like big time T-shirts, big time T-shirts, Lex autographs, big time T-shirts, Lex. Had a double like they 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 gave it they just grabbed a pile of money and handed it to the kid and 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 Big Tom was like he probably stole a couple thousand that we didn't even know about and then we gave him a few thousand. Lex flew from one of these races with a duffel bag with twenty thousand dollars in it from t-shirts, dude. That from they stole t-shirts. Out of t-shirts. Yep. T-shirts. Yep. But dude, that was <laughs> I mean there was a time. I mean Roger Bingham told me. You know, he was like, Matt, dude, I, I was doing a period. I was making, you know, 15, 20 grand a month for like two, three years after my season, just yeah. in doing appearances. My, my first year, I was doing every like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I was doing appearance at a club, 7,500. My rider said, no autographs, no pictures. I won't shake your fucking hand. I go straight to VIP. I have a bottle of Patron waiting for me and a bottle of Grey Goose. 7,500. And, and if, if I, you know, or I'll, <laughs> <laughs> we got, we got cards. We, we, we did a Hooters. There goes Johnny. He made 7,500 bucks in appearance, Carl, but he can't afford to pay for internet. Can't afford <laughs> That's <it. fine. laughs> am, I, am I back yet? You asked. Yeah. Yeah, okay. We got, we got this card from Hooters. It says on the card, it says, even though I make the big bucks, I'm sticking Hooters with 100% of the entire bill. And then in, in fine print on the back, it said alcohol not included. But when we'd show them the fucking card, we'd just put our thumb over the alcohol, and we'd run up $2,000. Like, it came with a letter. It's just like, you see people in the bar, you buy them a fucking round of fucking wings and shit. Wow. Just because it's paid for. Yeah. So yeah. it was good. For, like, fucking uh, James, he got one of those cards. He he bought a fucking Winnebago. James Clement? Yes, bought a Winnebago, moved that motherfucker to uh, to Malibu. He paid lot rent for his Winnebago so he could walk to the fucking promenade at, at in Santa Monica and get his free. He ate twice a day at fucking Hooters for a year. Dude, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, it's it's crazy, it's Carl, thinking about yeah, the yeah. early the early seasons and what you. And, and, it has to be. Yeah, if that's the case, man, I would goddamn be be good as much as i talked about drinking beer as yeah well as promoted beer oh, survivor yeah, yeah. like fuck Odella, it's the godfather. I mean, <laughs> uh, so, yeah you, you, know, need, you need to I call be the china. new dos Equis man you, know <laughs> know I mean? you need to call shit. shiner that, that's some texas shit right yeah shiner yeah. you need you need to you need to hit up shiner so so anyway so uh continuing on here uh uh, basically, all right. So it's just like, so we went to a restaurant. This guy yells, uh, Johnny fair play. I hate you. And asked for an autograph. Johnny yells back. I won't sign a, uh, an autograph for a fat fuck like you and gives him the finger. And the guy laughs that, that part was true. Uh, so it ends with, uh, you know, when Johnny's talking about his, his other survivor contestants, he says, Dara, her chest is flatter than mine. And Krista, she has banana boobs. I did not, <laughs> I did not say either of them. I think it's funny. That That is funny. All right. So uh, it's Johnny's last night in LA before he uh, headed back to South Carolina. I was living in Virginia at the time. He assures me he'll be back in a few weeks. And I did move back for good at that time and says we will hit the town again. I gave him my number. Big mistake. He's already called twice. So, uh, so anyway, so we can, we continue to date. And so she, she, she breaks up with the, uh, the paparazzi guy. And she ends up dating her assistant at Star Magazine, who was on Beauty and the Geek. I think he won or finished second on, like, season two or three. So uh, prior to Star Magazine, she was a producer at Jerry Springer. And so uh, she had told me – she was also in Playboy at at one time. So she had told me uh, while we were dating that she had – in her life, she had made 
a few suicide attempts, all obviously unsuccessful. So I, I rem- during the time we were dating, there, there were no such attempts. However, she caught when she was dating the beauty and the geek guy who, who didn't like me, you know, because, you know, no one likes you fucking their girlfriend. That's, you know, typically in a relationship frowned upon. So I remember it was uh, right before a Super Bowl. Uh, she called me and she was just like, hey, what are you doing tomorrow? And uh, I was, or what are you doing? And I was like about to watch the Super Bowl. Do you want to hang out tomorrow? And she's like, yeah. So anyway, so uh, she hung up and she was and her boyfriend was like, who was that? She was like, I'm fucking Johnny Fairplay tomorrow. And he was like, no, you're not. And he goes, I, 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 I won't allow it. And so she grabbed a butcher knife and, and sliced her throat. And uh, for real, she, for real. Yeah, because I was fixing to say I call bullshit because if you want to kill yourself, you're going to kill yourself. Well, yeah, I, 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 I think know. a lot. I think a lot were were a cry for it. So, so at this time, she, 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 they, you know, they put her, they locked her away for for, uh, I think it was about a week, and you know, she got out. I'm just like, what the fuck? And she's like, yeah, try to kill myself again, and I was just like, like, stop, like, don't do that. And she was just like, she goes, it was great. She was like, she was like, because she, she was, uh, she, she's a mean person. Like she, I loved her, you know, because I'm kind of mean myself. But like she, like uh, she, like the last time that she went to the when they put her away, uh, you know, for like a week, there there were other people in the psych ward, and like you know, one of them's just like, she's like, you know, why are you here? And they're like, oh well, Jesus or uh, God told me to kill myself, and she was like, that's why I'm here. God sent me here to tell you to finish the job. <laughs> She's just an evil fucking friend. I'm just like, oh, my uh, God. So uh, she eventually uh, – uh, she, she did it. She, uh, she, she had on her laptop um, uh, how to su- successfully kill yourself, and uh, it said drink battery acid, and she, she drank battery acid. Wow, that's sad. Yep. When so. was that? How long ago? Uh, 2000, it was either the end of 2004 or 2000, I think, think the end of 2004. So. That's sad, yeah. man. Yeah, she really was dealing with some demons. Yeah, yeah, so, sucks. it sucks, so, but anyway, I, you know, I was asked about, it, like, I, uh, it's, you know, I, I saw the, I, I, I had, I had a, a couple of those, those, uh, Star Magazines, I was, I was cleaning out some stuff, look, looking for some, some fun props for the show, so, uh, anyway, I, there, there are parts of the story that I think were fun, I think we finished on a flat note, but, uh, but, uh, any, anyone out there who, uh, who, who, uh, if you're going through some stuff there, there are people, uh, uh, out there that, uh, that I guarantee don't want you to do stuff like that. So reach out, uh, to, to friends, family, even survivors We're uh, we're some of us, uh, and not all of us play heroes on TV. Uh, but we, we, uh, when given the opportunity, we, we, We'll definitely try to do something heroic in our lives. So, uh, so anyway, so just just remember that there's a, that there's there's good people out there that that don't want you to do bad things. So, right on. There we oh, go. Oh yeah. Well, Carl, dude, thank you. <laughs> we're, we're ready for that. We're <laughs> no, no, dude. It all happens for a reason and plays out like it's gonna play out. Carl, it's been a pleasure, my man. It's it's been great meeting you talking to you having you on our podcast man and uh i wish you the best of luck dude and we'll have you on definitely i was telling him johnny one of our watch alongs man like uh, on a future season just randomly we should uh bring carl back yeah. and any any anytime you want to join us we, we we would love to have you carl you're 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 a lot of fun I, as i said I, I was super excited when when i when i saw uh saw you order that shirt <laughs> i was just like this is my man carl oh yeah <laughs> I didn't buy it just to hang it up in the closet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's what it is. I mean, that's history, you know? Oh, yeah. Nobody's nobody's ever played a Hidden Immunity Idol nullifier before. I'm the only <laughs> guy to ever have done that. When, you know? when they announced that that was a thing, I was just like, this incorrectly played is the biggest fucking dud in the history of Survivor. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. But you know, I've gotten I've gotten no props for it, man. Like, like none as far as that goes. You know. Well, you got it here. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah most that. But y'all some real ass dudes. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Right. Like, like I fucked with y'all. I like y'all. Yeah. But I'm just saying. Which yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know what you're you saying. You know, dude. it is what it is. I mean, man, but think think about think think if that drops in any other season and and. I mean, honestly, nine out of ten people find work. that 
it's incorrect. Like there, there's no way that you guess the day an idol is played and the person correctly. Nine out of people incorrectly guess. Oh, guaranteed. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because because they got like like you know like like someone like Dan under un, under any other uh, and under different circumstances is just like hey you're going home you might want to play that idol hey you're going home might want to play that idol and, that, and he's just like they're trying to get me to play my idol for no fucking reason I ain't playing my idol tonight right. and, then, and then it's like hey I played the idol fire well that was stupid right right yeah. <laughs> yep yep oh. I mean everything had to fall you know on on online it couldn't be. Any mistakes, because any mistakes, then it just would have been all for nothing. It was know? amazing. And then, like, you so, know, on the, like, as we said on the Nick interview, like, you know, it took the, the, the three stones for David to, to, to topple Goliath. And, and you you guys, like, there's, once again, there's no reason for, it, it doesn't, the conversation that you guys happen to have doesn't have to take place. It doesn't have to take place. That's what makes it so crazy, because everything went along with the with the title of the of the show you know unbeknownst to us i mean like we weren't thinking on that level oh we got this advantage this is gonna look great on tv you know what i mean today oh that's how we i play the game yeah we weren't <laughs> thinking on that level right. you know what i'm saying it just it played out that way and it fit everything what what cbs or scg wanted you know and it it just it just all worked out, man. So it was amazing. But it yeah, was it was amazing. It was I mean, cool. like as I said, we, we started we started this podcast by talking, you know, w- w- favorite season twenty one through thirty seven. I mean, if if you had told me six months ago that I'm gonna have thirty seven in my in my top two seasons of the second half of, of Survivor ever, I'm just like probably not. I mean, like you know, just just go back a year and look at Survivor Triple H and Survivor Go Silent. I'm just like, there's no way there's a fucking good season coming up in, in, in the in the next twenty. Right. Yeah. Right. No, it was killer, man. So so mad props to you, uh, Carl, the Godfather. We'll have you on again and, and thank you, patrons, for for asking the questions. And we will see you next time here on Survivor NSFW. Cheers, everybody. Bing!